Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. This is a supplemental video for episode 38. And episode 38 shows you how to run a Z edit to create a Z patch. But since that video was made, Lexi and crew has introduced Synthesis, which replaces Z edit. The, the point of this video is to provide guidance for those who want guidance to run Synthesis. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because YouTube won't let me update my videos directly. So I find that this was the next best option. So this supplemental video is meant to be used in place of the Z edit portion of episode 38. So with that said, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, in your mod organizer 2 install folder, locate and open a mods folder, then create a new folder called synthesis output. You could do that, or you could do it the way I do it. Click on the three dots here, click on create empty mod, and then name it synthesis output. So I'm just gonna copy this here, and I'm gonna paste it over here. All right. Excellent, and then I'm just going to go ahead and activate it to get ready. Now, on Mod Organizer 2, press the Executables button and select Synthesis. So, you could press the Executable, Executable button right here, or you could actually, in the drop-down menu here, go into Edit. Same thing. Alright, now we're going to go down to Synthesis, and then we're going to click on this box, Create Files in Mod instead of Overwrite. So, click that, and then the drop-down here, we're going to look for Synthesis Output. And this is in alphabetical order, so just find it. It's not too hard. There it is. And then OK. And now, what are we going to do? All right, make sure synthesis output is checked. And it is. And now we're going to generate synthesis output. Make sure you have set up synthesis as detailed on prerequisites page. That is that is done. Select synthesis from the executables dropdown and click run. So bloop, go down, click run. OK, after this is all running, waiting for this little busybody symbol to finish. And it's finished. Now click run. Easy peasy. I gotta tell you, this feels so much more streamlined than Z Edit. Good stuff. And it appears to be a lot faster than Z Edit. Good golly, Miss Molly, that was fast! Then after that, all you have to do is close it out. And then a drop down window here, or in this pane, window pane here, make sure it's selected. And that's that. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you in episode 38.